Welcome to the channel everybody. Today I'm going to continue on talking about the truck that I did, uh, the engine swap from a 2019 truck to a 2015. And if you don't remember which one it is, I mean, I have my video right there and you can look at it. And we have it right here running. I showed you my previous video, the things then uh, we did to it and stuff like that. But today I'm going to show you the after the programming and everything how the engine is running. We still gotta repair some leaks. We have a leak right there, then we have to be it has to be repaired. From the transmission, lines over there, that one is leaking. But other than that, everything is working fine. Engine has been running for like many many hours already, so it is alright. So, on my previous video, I showed them we had lights on. See, right now we don't have no lights on, not anymore. And we have the fold codes completely off. See, all these are in red because these are other light, other codes referring to chassis components, lights temperature sensors that are part of uh, the chassis but anything that is related to the engine is completely off see you remember we had this one on this one on right here and this one on now everything is completely off why because we did the programming i show you then you have to program it and do some different parameters move parameters from here to there to modify the way the engine is going to work other than that, if you leave the engine the way it is, I mean the the computer programming, the, pro, the computer pro parameters, the way they are, the engine is not going to work perfectly. So you actually have to modify the parameters in order to make it work. Um, parameters are going to be a bunch of parameters here. Then uh, you have to modify something that must be done by someone they knows. I'm showing you little things about it, how to do this and that. But I also mean then that's about it because if you actually modify a parameter then it's not the right one it can actually mess with your system so it is better to save, save the file for any reason you do modify the parameters of your um, engine of the engine that you're working on you have to save this file right here in order to keep the original file in case you mess it up so you can go back to whatever you were before messing it up and that way you don't have to worry about it but that is a very advanced modifications very advanced uh, programming levels then you need to do this but up to right now the fuel pressure rail problem it went it went away after modifications now we have a stable fuel rail I'm going to show you right now Let's see all right the three electrodes we need see now we have very stable fuel rail pressure which is good other than that this is ready to go this truck is ready to go so now I can turn it off and I can turn it back on with no problems. And as always, I mean, there is other leaks. Uh, we have a dryer leak here, but it's just because, you know, it's been sitting for a while and stuff like that. So this one has to be replaced and stuff like that. But that is regular repairs and you have to do to the truck no matter what. But other than that, everything is right on place. The point of doing a swap on an engine is to make it work in this case as i say we are using everything the original components of the 2019 engine the only component that is not original is the computer and the reason why is because we need the computer to work with the system because the system is 2014 the truck is 2014 so now then we have the computer modified to work with this engine without all these components that the 2019 model doesn't come with now we are ready so an engine starts with no problems now I can come and we have 
see checking your light stop light on everything working normal and press close and start the engine see? all the lights go away because all the settings all the parameters are right on place and everything is working normally pressure is working normally we don't have no fault calls again see that is great which means then this truck is completely done and as i said before um there is just a very small amount of things we need to do let, let me turn it off but so there is many very small amount of things we need to do now to actually make this engine work um, normally and it is just because we have to modify little things here hoses air leaks that uh, transmission leak that we have and we have to put the bumper back and stuff like that but it's just regular cosmetic repairs that we need to do now when it comes to the engine running with no problems we have everything on place and that is what we want it won't lose power it won't have any type of issues with it because now everything is right where it's supposed to be so uh, this is all pretty much i'm going to be talking on this video because i wanted to show you what it's like to modify your engine in case you have an idea in case you want to swap your engine in this case I am swapping the engine and modifying the computer. In the previous videos I did, I did a different video showing you on how it's like to modify a 2012 to a 2015. The truck was a 2012 and the engine was a 2015. Um, in that case, um, we, we modified the engine to make it work with the system. In this case, we are doing the opposite. In this case, we are modifying the computer to work with the engine. It is possible both ways, but the reason why it's possible because this generation, 2014 all the way to 2019, uses the same level of software and computers. The 2012, 2015 is different. So that's the reason why you cannot use the computer from 2015 and, um, uh, I mean from 2012 and modify it as 2015 because the computer is different so that is the reason why in the other time on the other engine we actually swap with a newer uh, type of um, uh, emissions uh, we did a different type of modifications but in this case I'm showing you then it's possible in case you have an idea to modify your engine i mean your truck with a newer engine and in this case it's a 2019 with a 2014 chassis and this means then we have a newer engine with newer emissions but we're using the same computer with modified components to make it work as it was original but this is all i have um there, i know for sure you guys are going to have so many questions about this because there will be so many questions about how it's like to make this engine work and how it's like to do things to uh, modify this and that. But as I said before, making the engine sit on the frame is not a big problem. The problem is modifying the computer and that will be up to what type of components are missing because some engines come with different components and some engines don't come with these components so depending on these components that is the type of modification you have to do to the software of the computer so that way the computer can work with no problems but up to right now this is all again and uh, you have any questions about this just comment below and there you can actually leave anything that you have an idea or something that didn't answer you comment below um i mean um it, it doesn't require as i said before it doesn't require that much experience to install the engine as long as you already have done this job if you already have done this job it will be easier but it, it will require more experience to modify the system to make it work that will be a little more tricky so questions Go to the comment section below. Um, any type of uh, help 
or any type of, of um, a contribution to the channel check the description of the video look for me francisco maya youtube you can see different things that i'm doing there day by day um subscribe to the channel it's very important and thank you for watching